Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This simple and short video is all about fixing the issue with Starfield where the game is either crashing, won't launch or stuck at just loading screen. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all in the basic step, head over to settings menu, choose windows update and if any update is pending at your end, choose the option download and install to make your operating system up to date. Nextly is if you have overclocked your CPU or GPU, make sure you remove the overclocking of the GPU and this will completely fix out the issue of Starfield crashing or stuck at the loading screen. Now if this failed to work out, in next step, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. Here you need to expand your display adapters. Right click on your dedicated GPU and choose the option properties. Click on the driver tab and if rollback driver is available, make sure you roll back the driver to the previously stable state to fix out the issue of Starfield crashing or stuck at the loading screen. If this failed to work out, click on the option update driver, select browse my computer for the drivers and again choose second option let me pick from the list of available drivers. From here, you need to select the latest driver present in your system. This can easily be verified by the date mentioned next to it. Second and third one are the latest drivers, so I'll just choose the driver and then click on the next button to continue installing the latest drivers to fix out the issue of Starfield crashing or won't launch or stuck at the loading screen. Now if this failed to work out, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, open up your Steam. Wherever the game is installed in your system, you need to right click on it and choose the option manage and click on the option browse local files. In the local files, under the search option, you simply need to search a file with the name fsr2streamline.asi. I'll take an example by searching a file with the name .asi extension. Here is the file. Once you find this file, right click and choose the option open file location. Now right click and select the option rename. And in rename, simply give it a name slash bak. Now hit the enter key. At your end, Make sure you rename the file with the name fsr2streamline.asi. Once the file is renamed, let it rename until the next latest DLL, DLSS update to fix out the issue of Starfield crashing or stuck at the loading screen. Now if this method also failed, lastly and the most perfect method that you need to perform is to remove DLSS mode. Generally, the Luke FZ DLL with frames N is the main reason for the Starfield crashing or won't launch. So first of all, make sure you remove that mode completely and then try to play the game. After removing the mode, open this official website, scroll down and download this particular mode and paste it into the directory of your game which is Starfield. After pasting it in the directory, again play the game this way you will be able to play the game with DLSS mode. But make sure if pasting these modes doesn't work or the game is crashing, you need to delete the modes until the next update to completely fix out the issue of Starfield crashing or won't launch or stuck at the loading screen. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.